Hello my sunshines, rainbows, orchids, moonlights, welcome back to Mystic Love Tarot. Those of you that don't know, my name is Ali and I hope that you are rocking and rolling today. So what we're going to do today is what does your person that you're asking about want to say to you? So it can be anyone that you are specifically thinking about, okay? So that specific person, you want to know what they are going to be wanting to communicate with you and that's what we are doing today. So I have two decks to pick from, I'm very out of breath, those of you who don't know, uh, I am pregnant, um, so it's like the baby's getting big and I've hit the third trimester, can you believe it, and I will be going on maternity leave in the next couple of months, keep your eyes open for that one guys, head over to Instagram, Mr. Love Tarot for the updates, I just keep catching, I can't get out of breath, keep like, <laughs> deck number one and deck number two, so I want you to go to the deck that you are most drawn to, and as you go into that deck and you like the imagery and you like the colour, um, I want you to just think about the person that you are asking about okay and we're going to push that energy into the deck you're most drawn to and we're going to get going okay deck number one now if you can't vis you can't um push energy you can visualize it you can clairvoyantly meaning you can see clairaudiently meaning you can hear so to you to the right deck or the left deck um you've got the the claircognizance which your thoughts are telling you on it so whichever senses come to you first is the deck that you need. So I'm just going to go to the person you're asking about energy. And we'll just do what do they want to say to you at this moment in time. What do they want you to know? Okay, five of swords. Nine of cups. Strength. Get two more. What do they want to say to you? Queen of Pants. And I will show you the cards individually as we talk through them. King of Pants. Okay, so let's start off at the end where these cards jumped out. I feel like we should start at the end and then work our way back to the beginning. So, the King and Queen of Pants over here. We have a partnership. So, your person can really see that there is potential for a future with you. And it is a future that is based on stability, a future that is based on security, and a future that is based on family and love and joy and nurturing. Just like my toddler talking downstairs. You've got all of this energy around you guys um, and they can definitely see that there is a future with you. So this is something that they would want to communicate with you first and foremost. The fact that they can see a future with you. Okay, now the King and Queen of Pentacles, I mean, you couldn't ask for, for better cards when it comes to love and relationships and partnerships that are stable. Okay, stability is coming up. So they can absolutely see a future with you and that is what they would want to tell you. Now, perhaps their actions might be a little bit more complicated than this, but this is where they do see the connection going. So they would say to you, I can see a future with you. I can see the connection moving and progressing in the right direction and that we can have a future together. So that's where their energy is to begin with, with you. We've got all the kind of gold at the bottom for the abundance between the two of you. So quite an abundant connection full of uh, universal manifesting. We've got the dog on here to symbolize protection as well and we've got the squirrel with his nuts kind of the fruits of your labor situation is working out and things are working through so your person first and foremost they would say they see a future of you they're working through it all um, and they can see where this relationship is going to develop and grow now where they are at the moment is we have the five of swords so they have either in this situation or in previous situations because it was the first card that jumped out and it does look to me like it was more in the past um, have been in situations where they have felt betrayed by other people and because of that their mind goes 10 to a dozen on if I jump into this dynamic partnership over here am I going to get my heart broken again is it going to be fair is it going to be a good connection is it the right choice for me i'm surrendering and releasing the past over here with the full moon energy coming up and the blocks in the lenoma talking about uh, sorry the mountains in the background and lenoma talking about blocks as well so there's blocks from the past that need to be released in order for them to progress into this future with you so they'll tell you that as well 
but they've been hurt in the past and they're a little bit scared now what's quite interesting is we have Beltane coming up with the fire energy and that's the type that's the time of month we are in at the moment okay we're in the Beltane season till midsummer my birthday um but we have fire energy as well so this is what's going on at this point in time so your person is going through these kind of link feelings of betrayal feelings of loss feelings of being hurt trying to um ground that energy so that they can move themselves forward okay so they see a future with you yes they do they're just dealing with their own shit at the moment now the other two cards coming up strength kind of talking for itself of everything we just spoke about with the five of swords over here they are finding their inner strength their inner courage their inner wisdom and they're going to want to communicate that with you as well they know and i just got the um kids song about the um the bear hunt when oh my breath I can't, cannot catch it um so when they on the bear hunt they say you can't go over it you can't go under it you've got to go through it and this is what your person is doing they are going through this kind of darker nights of the soul they are going through this kind of i i'm getting myself ready for the next chapter i am processing what's happened to me in the past and through that i can move myself forward and it does look like they will want to communicate that with you with the strength card as well being that she is highlighted in blue this is coming okay so this hasn't happened yet where the fire is here the fire is moving into the background here so they might be a bit distant at the moment but as time progresses it's going to get further away as they start to communicate with you what they want and what they do want over here with the nine of cups is wishes coming true uh, genie in a bottle make your wish they can see again with the the pentacles energy partnership over here they can see the relationship progressing so all in all what they want to say to you at this moment in time is they see a future they're working through their shit once they come out the other side they're going to communicate it with you and you have a chance to progress the relationship together which is pretty neat and that is deck number one okay guys so if you need me i am available like i said i'm going on maternity leave soon and uh, next couple of months can't believe she's nearly here um but you can just find me on instagram mr love tarot and even on maternity leave i will be working occasional days i'm allowed to work 10 days in the nine month period so do make sure you stay up to date on instagram because i will put on there um when the days are coming so if you want to book you can book make sure that you book for that specific day otherwise you'll have a longer wait but we'll cross that bridge when it comes to it and if you need me today let me know and i will get your answer out to you today and that's deck number number one okay let's scoot to deck number two okay guys so let's scoot over to deck number two what do they want to say to you i was just saying on deck number one i'm a little bit out of breath the pregnancy is really kind of squishing my lungs today so if i just feel a little sound like i'm about to collapse don't panic i'm all right just um a little bit a little bit out of breath so we're just looking at your person and what they want to say to you let's see what comes out let's go what do they want to say wheel of fortune page of swords page of swords i love the page of swords the fool let's just get two more what do they want to say two more two more lover is ah uh, cute and last one is four of pants okay so overall the feeling that you have from this these cards are a good feeling all right there are emotions here and there are feelings here and that's really highlighted with the lovers card coming up over here now the lovers tends to be a lighter side of love so there is fun there is flirty there is joy um, and they can see that this connection has emotions and they do have emotions for you okay so strong feelings kind of there or feelings that could grow strong are there for you um, they have these emotions for you and it's a very blessed time of year because it looks like it's um really coming into fruition in the summer months which is kind of where we are now so lots of growth going on with the connection and the person that you're asking about would say that to you they say i can see the growth in this i can see this going long term 
Now, Page of Swords is the communication between the two of you. So it does look like communication is happening and it does look like communication is going to happen about taking a new beginning together. So they're going to say to you, all right, you know what? Shall we just go for it? Let's just see what happens. Let's go for it. Let's take a leap of faith. Let's jump. And it looks like this uh, kind of com communication is going to happen through kind of internet based devices. So you might meet this person on dating sites you might be communicating through them to whatsapp or messenger but does it like this is where the communication is coming in so they're going to say to you or they'd like to say to you i'm going to communicate as having a new beginning let's go with it let's go with the flow because i see our emotions here and that there can be growth next things kind of going on is we have the wheel of fortune so where you might have been stuck with them in a cycle before they are now talking about breaking the cycle to take the next steps with the full breaking the cycle to take the next steps and take the jump and go for it really good stuff um with the wheel of fortune i just saw rumple stilt skin now i'm not i'm not very good at some some kind of older older stories older fairy tales but this was to do with a woman that span, I want to say it was thread into gold, okay? And I feel that this is very much the symbolism of the connection between the two of you. So where it's kind of the two of you have had perhaps difficult lives where things have never quite worked out, you can now grow this connection and where the threads have been before, maybe they made a string, they can be turned into gold and this relationship can become very, very valuable between the two of you, which I absolutely love absolutely love fortune is on your side things can really take a change here now with the four of pence it does look like there is something that is still being clung onto okay so all's fun it's all moving forward it's all shifting they see a future with you they see that this relationship is working out they've got emotions for you but they are holding on so let's see what they're holding on to what is this pair their person holding on to burdens so they're holding on to burdens within the mind as well i feel so their thoughts might be kind of trying to play tricks on them a little bit um and death okay so they're burdened by this kind of transition period that they are going through so they're holding on to the fact that this is a little bit scary because they're going to jump into the unknown and they're a little bit frightened of doing that that's what they're hanging on to um and it's <laughs> with the ten of wands they're saying well it's really in my thoughts it's burdening me quite a bit i am thinking about whether this is you know am i ready can we take the next steps i'm a bit frightened um but what spirit are saying to me is about the birds and saying you know don't birds are never afraid of taking the jump and trusting in their own wings so even if your person is feeling like that they have their own wings and they can trust in themselves and can trust in their own abilities for this relationship to work out as it needs to and should do so there's really good future for here future for you here so what your person would say to you is that they're going to communicate with you about uh, taking a new beginning so it could be entering relationships, could be engagements, weddings, wherever you guys are, taking the next steps. They'd want to communicate that with you. They're talking about their emotions for you, that they have great love um, and the summer months are really there. I also feel with that that there is a vulnerability with them, okay? They are happy to be vulnerable around you. They're feeling quite happy to express their emotions and feelings, okay? You're also a heart, hand chakra related, hand chakra, hand mandala related, okay? Mandala? The right word i always get these i get mandala mudra and uh mantras mixed up <laughs> but your hands kind of linking together you've got the man it's mandalas the mandalas of your hands um linking in together um so you're connected palm to palm hand to hand um which is beautiful and in pagan religions we all always have hand fasting rather than weddings so it's the connection of the two souls coming together okay so that's a little side note seeing the future with you going through a transition a little bit scared to take a jump holding on to perhaps those those fears a little bit too much but there is the transition there with the death card that they're going to be again starting a new beginning you've got two cards for new beginnings you've got one card for breaking a cycle and and kind of going in fresh headed um, and we've got cards of love as well communication as well so you know Perhaps they're not going to communicate in the way you would like them to communicate, but they will be letting you know how they feel about you, which is beautiful. 
and that's step number two so if you need me just uh, drop me a message uh, you can find me on instagram mr love tarot also have a website mr love tarot i'll put all the details in the comments for you so you can just go and find me out lots of love guys and i will speak to you next week ciao